Today is on the verb want, the pronunciation of the verb want. So the first word is pronounced hot, the second word not, and the third word got. So the first three words they have the letter O, but it is pronounced O. But with the verb want, we have the letter A, but it is pronounced O want uh, many students they pronounce it want it's not want it's want so in this lesson we are going to practice a lot this verb to master it so it is pronounced want let's continue english tenses present simple is the first tense we're going to deal with in this english course level 1 a1 the most important words of this English tense in this lesson are don't and do. So we are going to practice them today. Uses of present simple. We don't say uses, so we say uses. Uh, the verb is use, but the noun is use. So here, uses is a noun in the plural form. So uses of present simple. Uh, we use the present simple when we speak in general. We use present simple for habits or repeated action. We use present simple for permanent situations. And we use present simple with adverbs of frequency like always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. Let's see the positive form of verb want. In present simple with want, so we have subject plus verb. And the subject in this lesson is I, you, we, and they, plus want. Let's see some examples. Let's see the rule of this uh, present simple plus want. So we say I want, you want, we want, you want, they want. Negative form. So it's the rule. Huh? We are going to see the rule. So we have subject plus don't plus verb. The subject is I, you, we, they, plus don't, plus want. The rule, I don't want, you don't want, we don't want, you don't want, they don't want. Let's go to the question. In the question, we have do plus subject plus verb. Do plus subject, I, you, we, they, plus want. Let's see examples of the rule. Do I want? Do you want? Do we want? Do you want? Do they want? So this is the rule. Uh, pay attention to the examples. Now we are going to see real examples. Positive form. I want to speak English fluently. So what you should remember is the verb that comes after want starts with to. So, I want to. I want to speak English fluently. Let's go to the second example. I want to understand English. I want to understand English. So, we have to after want. I want to listen to English. We have to after want. I want to listen to English. I want to read books in English. I want to write good English writings. Let's repeat after me. I want to speak English fluently. I want to understand English. I want to listen to English. I want to read books in English. I want to write good English writings. Let's go to the negative form. Oh, more examples. Sorry. I want to use English in my life. I want to improve my English. I want to learn English. I want to study English in England. I want you to leave your English. Let's repeat after me. I want to use English in my life. I want to improve my English. I want to learn English. I want to study English in England. I want you to leave your English. Now let's go to the negative form. I don't want to study Portuguese. I don't want to learn Italian. 
I don't want to listen to German. I don't want to write Chinese. Let's repeat after me. I don't want to study Portuguese. I don't want to learn Italian. I don't want to listen to German. I don't want to write Chinese. I don't want to listen to Japanese songs. I don't want to read books in Swedish. I don't want to understand Korean. I don't want to improve my French. Let's repeat after me. I don't want to listen to Japanese songs. I don't want to read books in, in Swedish. I don't want to under, understand Korean. I don't want to improve my French. Let's go to the question form. Do you want to read books in Italian? Do you want to understand Chinese? Do you want to write in Portuguese? So question mark, missing question mark. Do you want to speak uh, to? So do you want to speak Japanese? There is a two missing in the last example. Let's repeat after me the four questions. Do you want to read books in Italian? Do you want to understand Chinese? Do you want to write in Portuguese? Do you want to speak Japanese? Let's continue. Do you want to learn English? Do you want to improve your Arabic? Do you want to study French? Do you want to listen to German songs? Let's repeat after me the four questions. Do you want to learn Fran English? Do you want to improve your Arabic? Do you want to study French? Do you want to listen to German songs? Do you want to improve your English? Do you want to listen to English songs? Do you want to read books in English? Do you want to understand the English movies? Let's repeat after me. Do you want to improve your English? Do you want to listen to English songs? Do you want to read books in English? Do you want to understand English movies? Let's go to more examples. Do you want to write English stories? Do you want to speak English fluently? Do you want to talk to people in English? Do you want to study business English? Let's repeat after me. Do you want to write English stories? Do you want to speak English fluently? Do you want to talk to people in English? Do you want to study business English? Now let's have more examples of positive sentences we'd want. I want to know you. I want to help you. I want to talk to you. I want to listen to your story. Let's repeat after me. Uh, but quickly, uh, let's speak English quickly a little bit. I want to know you. I want to help you. I want to talk to you. I want to listen to your story. I want to chat to you. I want to understand your problem. I want to read your mind. I want to see you online soon. Let's repeat after me, but a little bit faster. I want to chat to you. I want to understand your problem. I want to read your mind. I want to see you online soon. Let's go to the negative form. I don't want to know him. I don't want to help them. I don't want to talk.